Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Annie O'Sign. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. May now be seated. Today is Monday, February 14th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. For today's brain break and SCAT technique, we will be showing you a little skit representing self-respect and being around people that positively influence you. I love my new shoes. Those shoes are ugly on you. Trust me, as your friend, your old shoes looked way better. Aww, but I love these shoes. Maybe you're right. I want my other shoes tomorrow, I guess. Good. Do you think Randy is a true friend by criticizing something that his friend loves? A true friend would respect that you like your shoes and maybe even compliment them. Now let's try that again. I really do love my new shoes. <coughs> Sorry for what I said earlier. I was just jealous. Your shoes are actually pretty cool. They totally fit your style. I guess I was just jealous because those shoes are on fire. Thank you. As you can see, Randy was way nicer the second time around. Sometimes when you surround yourself with negative people, you can lose respect for yourself. So the lesson of today is that you should be with people that positively influence you because then you can gain self-respect for yourself and others. So tune in next time for our next Brain Break and SEL Technique. Now it's time for our Word of the Day segment. Hey David, have you seen the news lately? The president just released some crazy information. Dang, it must be some crucial information then. What does crucial mean? Well, crucial basically is something along the lines of important. They basically mean the same thing. Oh, so crucial is like when you have to watch the hot pockets when it's in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, if you don't want them to explode in your microwave. Well, it's crucial that you get that essay that's due tomorrow. Shoot, I forgot. I gotta go do it. We'll see you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Now let's get some facts about Black History with Valencia. Thank you, Vani. Hey, Patriots. Today we're going to talk about Fritz Pollard. Fritz Pollard was one of the two first African Americans to ever play professionally in the NFL. Fritz was born around the 1900s when the Civil Rights era took place. Black people playing sports wasn't something you saw every day. He tried multiple times to join the NFL, but he was always turned down. He kept trying and they finally accepted him. He continued to shine and left it all on the field. After he retired, he then became the first African American to coach. He truly sparked movement in the right direction. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks Valencia. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today's edition is about the boxing glove. Boxing is one of man's oldest sports and was first recorded in Egypt and Greece. Back then, soft leather strips were used to bind and protect the boxer's hands. The boxing gloves later started to be made larger when makers used cotton, wool, and even straw to add padding. Fun fact, they are usually the color red because it is the color that is least visible to the human eye. Don't you just love the boxing glove? Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is... Cheesy baked pennite, green beans, breadstick, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teacher know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's get back to money. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, it's time to show how we feel about black history. Today you can do the electric slide or the cha-cha slide, and tomorrow you can take a virtual field trip to the National Museum of African American History and Culture. I hope it fascinates you. Scholars, the due date to turn in your applications for the National Junior Honor Society is tomorrow. You can turn in your applications to room 186. Only 7th and 8th graders can apply. 
This is one great opportunity that can help you in the future. Sports fans, tomorrow our boys basketball team and our girls soccer team both have a game against Hillel. Both games start at 4 p.m. Let's go Patriots! Attention Pines Patriots! This Wednesday, February 16th, boys baseball and girls flag football interest meeting. Meet outside of the gym at 3.45 p.m. Let's go! Patriots, the book fair starts this Friday, February 18th. Let's dig up some good books! Stories over. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. And Patriots, don't forget that today is our early release day. It's time to take a relaxing school break. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Varney. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather in Pines is looking like a high of 71 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny. Looks like there's no rain, so look forward to a barbecue. Another weather news. Waking up to a fog in the morning is normal. This odor, however, is not. A foul odor is starting to uncover itself. The residents of Hadesburg say that it was caused by the city's sewage water treatment, and others say it was caused by the nearby chicken plant. It can be both since Hadesburg is a big city. These types of odors can be caused by water being heated by the sun or clouds releasing contaminated rain. Professional odor consultants are looking into this matter. Now let's go to Chanel for today's Hot Topic. Thank you, David. Hey, Patriots. Welcome back to Hot Topic. Destiny's not here right now, so I'll be holding down the ship. Oh, and here's what's trending this week. Happy Valentine's Day. Today, you can buy gifts and share love with the ones around you. Did you know that Valentine's Day was also called Saint's Day? Don't forget a rose, a big teddy bear, and a box of chocolates. In today's social media world, we use a lot of hashtags on our post. The most popular hashtag is hashtag love. I mean, since it's Valentine's Day, I guess hashtag love is in the air. The Olympics continue to shine. Recently, 15-year-old Camila Valia became the first female ice skater to not only land one quad jump, but two. She won the gold medal for skill. She is a great inspiration to other teens around the world. Everyone is going crazy for this little panda. Bing Duen Duen was created to be the Olympic mascot and everyone adores the idea. I love to get this as a gift. That's it for now, Patriots. Now let's go to Joshua for the birthdays. Thank you, Chanel. Today's birthday boys and girls are Shania Lundy, Stephanie Garcia, Johnny Eddy, Logan Smith, Iona Sky Smith, Sabrina Quintana, Chanel Palmer, Zunilda Mejia Diaz, and Kilia Jean. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Joshua. Scholars, here are your Pat's expectations. They represent present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, Treat the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Only, Miss Carter, Miss Ian Dinkwa, Miss Carmona, Miss Cavalita, Miss Williams, Miss Stone, and Miss Maynan. You all had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was What country gifted the United States the Statue of Liberty? The correct answer is France. The Statue of Liberty was handed over back in 1885. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which were originally used in meaning zodiac signs? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!